Amen. It's the ISO God Sensei, the original himself, the greatest ISO God of all times. Listen up, man. I am fin to give you the best build in NBA 2K21 after patch 3, 100%. The most brain dead build, 100%. The LeBron James build himself, 100%. Hall of Fame finishing, Hall of Fame shooting. While being able to spam curry slides and the behind the back. This is the best attribute and build attributes and bad setups. First build I'm gonna show you is the best offensive threat build. You're gonna have every takeover. And the second build I'm gonna show you has more defensive badges. So for like if you wanna play 2v2s or stuff like that, the first build is more offensive focus so you're going to want to watch this whole video to really see why this is the best build in the game by far okay i done figured out a lot of things after patch three my boy this um, if the build sips are most likely the same in uh next gen this is like the one like if i was y'all man you don't really want to try at the game this is the build for you the best 3v3 pro-am version and the best uh, 2v2 version, all, all, all that bullshit. But look, so before we get into the video, make sure y'all subscribe if you're new. 300k on the way. Hit that goddamn like button if you fuck with me, man. Let's get this video to 2,000 likes. Hit on, hit them post notice. And make sure you follow me on Twitch, Lord Baby Hulk. But look, so, hey, for the position. Let me turn on my fucking controller. <laughs> the fuck? Hey, so look, for the position. Now look, for this build, you're gonna wanna make it a PG, man. Um, You do get an extra like 15 attributes as shooting guard, but you don't get dimer and floor general. PG and shooting guards get the same for this particular pie chart I'm gonna show you. PGs, and look, I've showed plenty of builds. I have the best tutorials on YouTube, okay? In the 2K community, I'm the smartest nigga, greatest nigga, been doing this shit okay already posted this these this type of build but now it's different after patch three there's a better way to make it look so for pg and shooting guard man you get the same same badges just with shooting guard you get like 20 more attributes or like 15 or something the pie chart we are going to pick is this pie chart okay there's another way to make this by using this pie chart now there's no reason to even use this because you get gold shooting. Um, there was before for like the contact dunks, but even then this pie chart was better, right? Um, I try to explain that to people because um, people only start going for contact dunks once they're in takeover. Once you in takeover that plus 10 you shit, you don't even need to unlock contact dunks to start getting contact dunks. It's already going to unlock. You feel me? But anywho, patch three completely changed the game. Um, straight finesse system. <laughs> also, people have to make way complete different builds before next gen. I, I bet for next gen, bro, they're going to do the exact same thing in some way, form or fashion. But look, so you're going to go with this pie chart. I'm going to show you why. You're going to go with the most speed. I know some niggas choose vertical balance. No, most speed. Go with the most speed. You're already going to have gold playmaking. Okay, don't be an idiot. The, the, the ISO God himself is telling you the truth. I'm gonna show you the best badges for these builds too, so don't don't be skipping, dickhead. Now look, there's a lot of people out there that be still in my build videos, man. You know? <laughs> but look, it is it's always here first. So y'all gotta turn on them notice. Look, this is the best lineup for this build, bro. I'm gonna tell you why. This is like 3v3 pro-am st stuff like that right i'm gonna show you an, another build that's gonna have lock take and more defensive badges basically the same as this but it, it's the best version listen you gotta watch this all the way through no skips now look you're gonna get contact dunks i'll show you how you want 22 shooting badges you're not going to have um 
the goddamn 95, 99, 3 like the play shot. So you want to make up for it, right? You want as many shooting badges as possible. And, you know, you could take some off of shooting, get more finishing, or you want the 15 playmaking. But I believe this is the best. This is going to be the most compass to help you win games. We got the 14 playmaking and the five defensive. Once you see your wingspan and your height, it's basically like you got 10 defensive badges. Trust me. You feel me? Now, look, this is the best. Trust. I'm telling you, bro. This is brain dead. Just like in 1920, it's a brain dead build, bro. You, for some reason, just running to the paint and holding square is even more overpowered than 20. Even though they took out hop steps. And um, the dribble glitch, I think. I haven't really tested it this year, but it's it's broken, bro. <laughs> You're going to make him burly to seem even bigger than what your height's going to be. You're going to make him 6'5". You go 6'3", you're not going to unlock the contact dunks. 6'5". You're still going to be able to speed boost, right? Contact dunks. Spam the curry slide and the aggressive behind the back. And you're bigger. You're going to make your weight gonna make your weight 179 right you're gonna make your wingspan max you see you don't have 81 you want to make sure you have 81 so you unlock contacts once you're 99 even though your shooting goes down minus four it's cool you got all them damn badges and hall of fame shooting bro plus you know you get like 97 or 98 um you're gonna be unlocking all the pro dribble moves bro and look look at all these takeovers bro now, you could pick Slasher. You just want to be straight brain dead, straight brain dead, and all this other stuff. But if you really want to be unstoppable, bro, and still get contact dunks, I'm telling you, this the most brain dead takeover, man. And you're going for your weakness. It's not, well, it's not really your weakness because you have Hall of Fame shooting, but you don't have a 95-3, right? But if you put sharp take on this dude, people, people already aren't going to be able to stop you in the paint. Plus, sharp take. So, like, you gonna get some bullshit, correct? You gonna get bullshit in the paint, right? It's gonna help you get your takeover even faster. Then once you enter takeover, they can't stop you up high or low. It even, I'm pretty sure it still boosted slashing a little bit, like plus five. So you still gonna get contact dunks. I would say, I'm, I'm literally going to make this build. This is going to be my main build. And I'm picking sharp tape. This is what I'm doing. If you're not very good, I would go slasher. Um, even shot creator, uh, that helps a lot with your athleticism. You still can get uh, ankle breakers, stuff like that. And um, I don't know. I would go with sharp, bro, to be honest. And here's the name you're going to get, my boy. Slasher, right? So niggas going to play off you. They don't see a takeover in the beginning. Or, you know, they, they just want to test it. You know, you feel me? And you got Hall of Fame and all those badges, bro. This is broken. It's broken. Now, look, if you really want to trick niggas, right? Go ahead with Slasher Takeover. Mm. And you got Hall of Fame shooting badges. They not going to know that you lights out, bro. Broken. But, hey, it's, it's up to you, man. Anywho, I'm going to show you the best badges for this build. Then I'm going to get into the second build, man. So make sure y'all like up the video. I'm giving y'all this knowledge, man. I, I, I love to teach people, my boy. Make sure y'all follow me on Twitch. Like up the goddamn video. It's free, nigga. It's free, dickhead. <laughs> it's free, my nigga. You know, it just helps me. Okay, so these are the best badges, my boy. Look, hold on, hold on. I would, I would do it like this, man. I would do it like this, man. I would want Giant Slayer on Hall of Fame. I think Relentless Cool at Silver. You got the two most OP badges at Hall of Fame. I think that's good enough, man. The fancy footwork still work crazy. I mean, you could, you could take off and put it on there, but I think this is probably the best lineup. For some reason, you could just go to the rim in this game. Probably worse than 20, even without hop steps. And just hold square, my nigga, and you will, like, it's just, like, it's incredible, bro. Like, what happens? <laughs> you got 22 shooting to make up for your, you know, your slasher name. <laughs> I rock something like this. Or like this. You good, bro. 
Now look, I did. <laughs> the reason you don't want to make him shooting guard is because you don't get Dimer in floor general, bro. Like, it's AIDS. I rock something like this. Or maybe something like this. All, all, all up to you, man. Something like this. All, all, all up to you, man. You only got 13 of them hoes. And I do something like this on the defense that you're going to be guarding corner and you're not going to really be guarding on ball. Now, here's the second build, man. You're going to want to make him a PG so you get Dimer and Floor General, shit like that. Make him a shooting guard. You're not going to get those. None of this matters. We're going to go with this pie chart right here. If you want to listen to my explanations on why to choose this, just go watch the, the first portion of the video, man. You go with the most speed. Okay, so here's the version with more defensive badges. You're going to unlock lock take and have contact dunks, Hall of Fame finishing, Hall of Fame shooting, speed boosting, and um the defense. Now, if you put the block on offensive rebound, you could do that if you want. Um, You still get seven badges. I think I messed up the shooting because I just had 19. But um, yeah, if y'all figure out a way and keep it exact same, go ahead. Let me know in the comments. But I think this is overall the best. Put them on Burley so you seem even bigger. <laughs> Pause. You're going to want to make them 6'5". 179. For the week span, you're going to go max. And bam, you feel me? You don't unlock the sharp take, but you unlock still almost every other takeover. Now, since you make it a more defensive, man, it's 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 really up to you. If you want to boost your midi shooting, you go ahead with shot creator. You don't really trust your shot. Or you go with lockdown take. You got a two-way offensive threat, bro. Or slasher if you want to be brain dead. Personally, up to you. And yeah, man. If I was to make a build like this, it would be to play on the twos or something to make up for only having seven defensive. But you 6'5", max wing, you basically have like 13 badges just with that alone, like it, uh, instead of seven. But with lock take, it's, it's even worse, man. Bam. Y'all y'all slashers, let, let me know how you feel about this setup. What, what, what would y'all's best 12 badges be for someone who has Hall of Fame finishing a lock, man? I think that's the best. To be honest, I, I rock something like this, man. You could do something like this. Or if you need your bell out higher, you might have to take off Dimer, man. I don't know. Or buff up Young Pluckable. You might have to take it off. Either Floor or Dimer, man. Whichever your little bum-ass spot-ups prefer. For defense, I rock this, bro. Ain't gonna hold you. You should be cool. Lock take. Max wingspan 6'5". You should be cool. Yeah, man. Anywho, those are the bills. Make sure y'all subscribe if you're new. Turn on post notes. Like up the vid, man. It's fucking free. What you doing? Follow me on Twitch, Lord Baby Hawk. Follow me on all my social media down below. Check out all my other uh, videos. And I'm out this whole man. And watch my last video, man. I bodied um the whole screen versus ISO debate, man. I, flawless victory, my boy.